Good morning, Gary Zerner from Ag Solutions. I'm here with Dr. Nerida Richards from Equalize Horse Nutrition and also from Feed XL. And we sort of feel that's so important to talk more about the importance of pasture nutrition and the opportunities that our equine clients or everyone out there can gain from their pastures. I mean, certainly if you look at a horse in its natural environment where it could graze, you know, well, back through the ages it could graze as many million hectares as it really had access to but um, and, in, and in doing so they were able to go and seek out certain plant species that they, they probably weren't necessarily looking for a certain element uh, we know you said last night that they um, will seek out sodium in cattle and phosphorus we know horses will certainly seek out sodium as um, it's possible they will also seek out phosphorus but you know something like boron they probably don't go looking specifically for boron but when they were able to graze over a large area um, they would eat 50, 60, 70 different plant species in a year um, depending on what was available and they would browse as well as graze. Um, here, I mean just take the example of my own horses, there's maybe five or six different grass species in our paddock um, and then occasionally they'll get something different coming in um, as a hay as well but the ingredient variety in our modern horse diets is so minimal compared to what um, traditionally they would have gotten so and it's not to say you know the, the um, prehistoric horse or, or wild horses you know they've, they've still got the ability to eat a large variety of food they don't necessarily live for a very long time so it's not still not perfect nutrition out there but the ingredient variety is so much better that they, they probably are getting a much broader spectrum of, of nutrients and, and their lifespan is, is possibly more due to factors like their, their teeth um, give them issues although you know they have issues with their feet and their legs but um, mineral nutrition is so important in a horse because when you think about it you know you look at a, a broiler it lives for six to eight weeks and then you look at a, a vela, um, beef vela, you know, it might live to 12 months um, and feedlot cattle up to a couple of years and then your beef cows are getting old at 9, 10, 11 years of age. That's just when a horse is peaking at 9, 10, 11 years of age. Not race horses, of course, but you know, a lot of your performance horses, like it, it takes that long to get them um, to the really high level, particularly in something like dressage. So if you don't get their mineral nutrition right early in life, their joints are going to be ruined by the time that they get to that age. Their feet will start to fall apart. Their immune systems just won't be able to um, fight off any significant challenge. Uh, and the unfortunate thing in with, with mineral nutrition is, you know, if we underfeed a horse calories, they get skinny quite quickly. So it's really obvious that you're not feeding that horse enough calories. If you underfeed copper and zinc, it might take six or seven years for an issue to show up, if not a little bit longer. I said last night, my horse that I rode as a kid, um, it took her about 16 years to, to start showing serious issues in her feet um, from what I would guess would be long term copper and zinc, like her, her feet were just falling apart. Uh, and then as I learnt a lot more about nutrition myself and, and got her onto a proper mineral supplementation, she had beautiful feet. Um, so it, it, it's hard because we don't get that, it's a little bit like smoking and cancer, you know, you can smoke and you don't get cancer for 30 or 40 years, it's not that instant um, effect of, of mineral nutrition necessarily.